basic circuit workflow in AutoCAD Electrical is governed by the rungs and ladders philosophy. Now, what we need to do is insert a ladder. So this is on the schematic tab on the ribbon. It's in this panel here, insert wires and wire numbers. And there's our ladder just there. If I click on the down arrow and go to insert ladder there on the menu, it might ask you for a special block, WDM. That's because I'm using a brand new drawing here. It's a blank drawing. So I'm going to force this drawing's configuration settings to match the project settings. OK to insert this non-visible block now. OK it. So that goes in. So now I need to insert a ladder with these settings. So I've got a width. That's that distance there. I've got a spacing. That's that distance there. I'm going to increase that spacing a little bit. I'm going to increase it to 70, like so. And it's a one-phase circuit. Do I draw the rungs? Yes, please. I'll OK that now. Start position of first rung, say there. And as I drag across, can you see, look, each rung appears. So I'll go to there, click, and it fills those in. So there's a spacing of 70 between there and there, and they're 400 high. So if I pan up a bit, you can just see there the height as well. So now I might want to insert a component on one of these rungs. So I go to the icon menu here, and then click on icon menu again. So now what I've got is the IEC standard schematic symbols. I've got push buttons, motor control. I've got lots of information here. Let's go for a relay or a contact. So if I click there, there's all my relays and contacts. Let's go for a bog standard relay coil there. And as you can see, it's there. I bring it in on the rung there like that. I click. I can put information in there. I'm not going to worry about that. That's all the attributes of that particular relay block. I'll just OK that, or I've got OK Repeat. So if I do that, I can insert another one now. So I'll drop one there, like so, and then I'll OK it. So you'll notice there, look, each relay coil that I've inserted, you'll notice K1 was the first one, K2 was the second one. So you'll see there now that I can insert those in numerical order, and it does that automatically for me. Now, these are just blocks, so if I double-click on that block, I can edit it using the Enhanced Attribute Editor like that, or if I click on it, right-click, I can copy the component, delete it, I can change the attributes of that component, I can align it, I can insert a wire from it, I can scoot it further along, I can use the surfer to find information, retag or update. So you can see, look, all these AutoCAD electrical tools are there for you to create your basic circuit workflow. So I can align that now and select the object I want to align it with, like so, and that says zero found. I can align it with this object here, though, and then right-click. Look at that. It aligns it neatly and tidily next to that one. It's very cool, isn't it? It's quick and easy, and all these tools are there to make you more productive, more effective, and for your boss, or perhaps even yourself, if you work for yourself, it'll make you more profitable because you're quicker. You're generating electrical circuit drawings quickly, effortlessly and effectively.